Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Patricia and welcome in the October favorites. Um, so October just passed and I'm very excited for November because November is the last month before my birthday month, which is December and I love December because it's Christmas. Ah, I just love the spirit and I, I really feel like it's the first it's, for me, it's like 2nd of November right now when I'm shooting this, but I, I already feel this spirit of Christmas going on, so I'm so excited. But anyway, uh, October just passed, and for like October for me was very busy. So basically, I don't have any physical object to share in this favorites, but I have a couple of movies and, and maybe two TV shows that I really want to share with you because I feel like they're very good ones. I really recommended them from the bottom of my heart. So uh, I feel without further ado, let's get started. But before I'm gonna start, all the links, the stuff that I'm gonna mention in this video, you're gonna find in the description down below like also the links to it and also links to my social media so please don't forget to follow them also don't forget subscribe and click this bell icon to know it every single time when I upload a new video and without further ado let's get started this video so this month was very busy for me because I do a vlogging so if you want to check out this vlogging the all eight videos I create for you uh so you was able to see I think from Please don't judge my math, but I feel like that was 23rd to 31st um, of October. You was able to see them every single day on my channel. It was really fun to creating them. It was really fun to create the ideas, what I want to shoot. And I feel like you guys enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed it a lot. It was a lot of work, but also it's done me a lot. And I really... Um, happy that I learned stuff so like that. Um, I have a lot more respect to people to mainly daily content on the YouTube and yeah that was really that was a lot of fun and for me even if Halloween is over I still feel like this Halloween um, vibes into it so I really like looking for inspiration for next year Halloween already and I can't wait to just be able to share with you what I'm gonna do next year. I don't know that we're gonna continue the vlogging like I did, but we're gonna see. We have an entire year to figure out what we're gonna do, so I'm very excited. So that was my first favorite, basically the entire vlogging, Halloween uh, preparation on my channel. If you wanna see this videos that I created, the last eight, and also like my previous year Halloween hem video, I'm gonna link them in the description box down below and also in the iCard. Um, so you can check them out, but I really recommend it to you do it, check out what I did it. Maybe you're gonna find inspiration next year for yourself, but I really, really enjoy it. Let's get go to favorites that you're also gonna like it and enjoy it. So I feel like let's get start with movies. I have a couple movies, they completely random, and I have them in the post notes, so we're gonna go by list by list. I'm gonna a little bit tell you about them, which is about what is the movie but of course I recommend it to you check out in the description down below the IMDB and also I'm gonna leave you Tyler um so you can check out what it is. So first I write it Annabelle Reborn and um this is movie that I was kinda excited because I like the franchise of Annabelle's like conjuring basically series. I think it's very good did it. I was in the first movie on the theater and I really enjoy it. Um, even when they are, but basically even if I watch this, I like, you know, it's hard to create good solid Halloween-y, kind of like good solid franchise basically. It's hard to do. And I, it's so cool that someone managed to do it, this with horror movies, like cool, good looking, still interesting, still with a lot of secrets, still with potential uh, series. I really enjoy it. So Annabelle, A Reborn, I think is a cool title, um, or Recreation or something like that. Basically, this new Annabelle movie is about, we find out history of Annabelle doll, how she was created, how she, can, you know, make herself uh, to become the most uh, famous po position uh, object I think in the world 
Um, I really enjoyed this movie. It's half a lot of good moments. I will not say it like it's scary completely for me, but half good moments, half very interesting like concept of shooting. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it and I can wait for another movie to go and come out. I think it's gonna come out next year or something. So I'm really enjoyed to watch it. So I really recommend it to you. I feel like it's really cool if you never watch it conjuring. I really recommend it to you to make marathon with your friends because it's really cool, good, made it movies, basically. Uh, another one that I have read it, it's Spider-Man Homecoming. I finally watched it. I was so excited to watch it uh, because Spider-Man is one of my favorite superheroes. I feel like it's definitely top 10. Uh, it's uh, definitely, I even think even if he is in the top five. Uh, superheroes, definitely. Um, uh, I was really enjoy it, but also I was tons of scared because it's third time we have a third new Peter Parker, and I'm like, oh, this isn't gonna work good. But I want to say I was surprised and in a positive way. I like it. Maybe I wish like he was a little bit older, but I still like it that he's fresh and new and like he's fresh and new to like. Marvel franchise. He's like younger, so he giving this freshness, he giving more like fun to Avengers and I feel like this is very en enjoyable a movie. I like it. I really like it, this movie. I, I feel like it's a good movie because it's still action going on. It's not like you know like sometimes it is like for last um spider-man movies it was like sometimes like I feel like Spider-Man 3 is a really great show. Um, then it was a lot of like it was action a lot of talking small action a lot of talking and like this and this movie we don't have that it's like a little bit talking a lot of action a little bit talking a lot of the action which i personally i love it with something happening in basically movies so i really recommend you check out spider-man homecoming because i am proving this in the marvel universe next movie is called Gerald's game and i even just noticed this movie going like a lot of like um, attention right now, end of the month, was get a lot of attention. People say this is a really good movie, and I'm agreeing. This is a really good movie. This movie is on the, I think, originally was a um, novel by Stephen King. I don't know exactly how novel have to do this movie because I not read it, this novel. Um, but I really enjoyable. Um, even when the concept in the first that like, you hear it is weird because the concept is we have a man named Gerald and his wife and they try to save their marriage. So they decide they're gonna go to the cabin in the wood in the middle of nowhere to kind of spark the flame of their relationship and unfortunately on the while they're playing uh, together in the bathroom bedroom bedroom and they play in the bedroom his husband have a um, heart attack and she dying and she is uh, I don't know how to say she's hanged to the bed and she have to figure out how to run away from this situation. I think it's very interesting. Like I was in the beginning with my brother watching this movie and was like, okay, it's it's not gonna be a good movie. But I say like I heard it's good, so let's get check it out. And still and I wouldn't gonna say it. I was surprised. I was surprised. It's definitely like twisting in the end, but I like it. I like the surprises coming up and it's definitely, it's half time moments because I watched this very late night and my brother actually passed out <laughs> and the ending of this movie and I watched it fully, entire movie. Um, I would say it's, it was half moments when I was like so sleepy that I want to go to the bed, but uh, it's coming to the moments when it's like it's getting more interest, interest, interest and you finish this movie and like whoa, what I just watched it, it was really cool. So I really totally recommend it to you to check out this movie. It's really interesting and mystery. Another movie that I really want to recommend it to you is Oprah. It's from 2000, I have in there because I check out. It's from 2008. This movie is from 2008 and I watched this movie, um, I actually across this movie completely, um, uh, completely randomly uh, because I thought in the beginning this this is this uh, Spanish uh, movie Oprah when there was like uh, this woman living in 
um, in this opera, I had to have boys fun and stuff like that with this mask on. I thought this is the movie and I watched it already, so I was like, I should I cross this movie um, by watching TV and I was, again, very dark, every night and night and I really want to go to sleep. Uh, so I, I still kind of watch this movie when I fall asleep and it was look very interesting. So I recommend it to my brother, let's get watch it. And I'm going to tell you, I am surprised how good this movie is. I really enjoyed this movie. It's a lot of like plot twists happening, it's a lot of like crazy things happening in this movie that I really surprised us how good and well it's combined and it's even in the last couple of minutes of the movie we have like a lot of like the, like this jump scares coming out that is really fun and enjoyable so basically this movie is about um, a couple who have already two uh, children and they actually are um, expecting the third child but unfortunately the third child born uh, dead and they kind of like you know they feel lost a lot about this first child so they decide today are uh, gonna adopt it another baby to just like not replace the first child that they don't have it but like kind of like make this family of five that they want to have it so they go to the opera and they found a girl who is very interesting very maturely um and they kind of get a very fast contact so they decide okay we adopt this girl so they adopt this girl and of course like always and like to their horror movies it's not the best when you're taking uh like uh, this weird child to you with your home so they take this child to the home and weird stuff started happening so i really totally recommend you to check it out this movie even if it's from 2009 it's really still good did and made it and i really recommend it i have a lot of like surprise happening in there so i totally recommend it to check out the series and the last one that I want to share with you is called Baby Driver. I was really excited about this movie. I actually, there was one of the movies that I want to send my parents to go to the cinema when they have free tickets to the cinema, uh, but they not go in. And I wish they not go. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of happy they not go because we was able to watch it full together. Uh, this movie is very interesting. We have, have a boy called Baby and he's a baby city driver. Wow, so easy to explain. But he's the driver, he's a good guy, and he doing this like drives with bad people. He basically, his job is, he driving the bad people to the like bank robberies and stuff like that, and he pick them up from this, and he run away from the police, that they not found these people. So this is basically the entire plot of this movie. Not entire, but this is what I can tell you without spoiling. So I really enjoyed this movie. It has a lot of good um, songs in it. And I think soundtrack is beautiful blended with entire movie. So I really totally recommend it to check it out this, like focus on this part a lot. But I really recommended you guys to check it out. Even with ending is a little bit, I was a little bit disappointed, but I still really enjoyed this movie. Okay, I have a two TV shows for you. One to everyone probably know is Stranger Things season two. I watch it, I enjoy it, I love it. Um for me personally season two is twice better than season one. Uh it's more interesting, more happening um Maybe it's just because of that, like always in the first seasons, you have to kind of show everyone the characters, kind of describe them characters, how they look, how they speak and stuff like that. Then like in the second second season, you already know everyone. So it's like, like easier to go and faster going to the action. So I really totally, totally love uh, Stranger Things. I don't think so that I have to describe what it is the Stranger Things, but in in case if someone that never heard so Stranger Things is Netflix original series what happening in the um, Illinois I think Illinois um, little town called Hopkins and basically in there start happening very very weird things and uh, all the characters kind of um, try to figure out what's wrong happening in the Hopkins they try kind of explain what's happening 
I don't know if that I explained that right, but basically it's like a kind of strange things happening in this place and it's look cool and it's in the 80s decade, basically what I can say. And another one is, I feel like this series, I was very excited because I took out what's new in Netflix and that series a lot like put my eye on it and I feel like it's hitting my soft spot of like, I, I love psychological stuff, so this is called mind hunters and this is basically like kind of um, it's kind of remind me a little bit um my one of my favorite show uh called um it's kind of remind me my favorite tv show called criminal minds um basically we are um with young um, agent of mbi called ford and he is mba agent and he is the guy who's supposed to learn the policeman how to all, um, you know, react, how to negotiate with a uh, person to commit crimes. Um, and he kind of is not happy about method how he, uh, he was learned and he's trying to figure out how to make them better because they not always work. And he kind of randomly met another agent who he have better way to say the stuff and kind of like randomly they start creating like profiles of the massive murderers. They start talking to them and they start creating this behavior thing. Um, um, I don't know how to say that. But having like part of uh, FBI to take help to profiles the serial killers, which is basically kind of not maybe stop the um, murderers, but kind of make it the profile to be able to quick identify what who is the murderer. I really enjoy it, and really, ex I really first enjoyed this TV show. Uh, it's I feel like. 10 episodes, but I really enjoy it. Uh, please, uh, this came in for you guys. I was also disappointed about the first and second episode a lot, but after the third, it started getting more interest and interest. So this is one of the shows that you have to give a little bit time to go to the better place and get more excited. Um, so yeah. Uh, so anyway guys, this is everything that I have today for you guys. I hope you like it and enjoy this. Let me know what was your favorite in the October and also let me know if you watch one of these movies or TV shows that I mentioned, what you think about them. Anyway, thank you so much. Like always, I don't, don't forget to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy it and we see each other with another video very soon. Bye!